want to be delivered from the spirit of fear? Do you want to be prosperous and have good success? And prosperity is, is having uh, success in your mind and all, all of your body, your soul and your spirit. Amen. Well, then you will have to have a certain lifestyle. OK, you will, you may need to change your lifestyle. The first thing you will need to do is to invite Lord Jesus into your life. You need Lord Jesus into your heart and into your life. You will need to read and study your Bible. Now, Lord Jesus is the word of God. OK, the word of God was made flesh and came on the earth. And men inspired by the scriptures wrote the Bible, which is the word of God. So they're one and the same. Before you read and study your Bible, pray and ask the Lord for help. I do that. I'm like, this is what I say. Lord, help me to understand your word. And, and I say that, I pray that before I read. And Daddy God, he helps me. I don't always get everything immediately, but over time, he gives me answers. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. We're talking about Jesus here. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. So what I'm saying is, Kings, you have to get the word of God in your mouth. It has to become part of you. It has to be so part of you. It's like skin over flesh. OK, you have to have his word in you to the point where certain situations come up. You got a scripture that you can call on and verbalize to, to counter or encounter that situation. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Okay, whenever I, my peace gets a little distorted, I said, he will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusts thee. And then I can, you know, I repeat that scripture and then I can get myself back together real quick, amen? Because I, I repeat it, then I'll do it. Okay, my focus is on him. Keep my mind on him. So what I'm saying is you have to have God's word in you. And the only way to get it in you is to read it and to meditate on it and repeat it. You got to you. You literally have to say things out loud. Amen. 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 So you need to get Jesus into your life. Holiness will be a part of you because our dad is holy. So there's some things you, you know, you'll clean up, you, you know, and guess what? It's not hard. It's not hard to be holy because as you read daddy's word and you study his word and talk to him about his word, you know, dad, I don't understand this. You know, I read this. I, that's what I do. I said, Lord, now I don't understand this. And he gives me understanding. Sometimes he will allow a situation to happen. And I'll like, I'll be like, oh yeah, okay. Or sometimes I'll have a dream and I'll have, or I've had situations, I've had questions with Father God and he has answered my question within the week. Something would happen. That's how close we are. Hallelujah. I love you. I love you, Lord. Glory. So daddy is, he's very attentive. And if you think that Father God is not paying you attention, spend a little bit more time with him and you'll notice that he'll read your thoughts. Amen. 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 He's very attentive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, again, we have to do what Joshua did, which is meditate on the word of God and don't let it depart out of our mouths. Amen. Amen. His word will make you strong and then you'll be able to to withstand the attacks of the devil. You will be able to put on the whole armor of God. 
And instead of being on defense, when he comes toward you, you'll be on offense and you'll get him running. Hallelujah. I like that. I like that. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 The second thing you need to do. Oh, before I go to that. Um, yeah. The second thing you need to do is you have to speak to that demon. I said you have to speak to that demon. You have to tell that demon that it cannot stay. You have to command it to leave. Now, you may say, now, Latina, why do I have to do all that? Because demons cannot read your mind. Oh, they can throw thoughts, their thoughts. And guess what? They do. And they hope that you verbalize them. Do you hear me? They love to throw their thoughts into your mind. They pretend to be you. They mimic your voice. So if you're not really careful, you'll think that it's you thinking that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Because they mimic you. And they hope, again, they hope, they, they want you to say whatever thought they put in your mind. Because then you give them power for your future. Did you hear me? Words are the vessels that Father God used to make everything. Amen. Father God spoke the world into existence and everything he said, we see. You have that same power within your mouth. If you're not careful, you use the devil's words to plan your future. Do you understand me? So in order to stop him, you have to speak to him and tell him that he has to leave in Jesus name. That's what Jesus did. Every demon that Jesus cast out, he spoke to. He didn't just think it. He spoke to them even in the wilderness. When the devil approached Jesus, Jesus told him, it is written. He quoted scriptures to him. That's why you have to have the word of God in your mouth so you can counter him and put him in checkmate. Do you hear me? Am I clear? All right. So you have to speak to these demons. Okay. But before you do that, you got to have Jesus in your heart and you have to know what you're doing. Jesus told us something that was very important and it's imperative that you understand this. Jesus told us in Matthew 12, 43, this is what he said. When an unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places seeking rest and findeth none. Then he saith, I will return to my house from whence I came out. And when he is come, he findeth it empty, swept and garnished. Then he goeth and taketh with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself. And they enter in and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. That's why. Kings, you, you have to understand what you're dealing with. You have to have God's word in your mouth because you can't let these demons back in. Because the last state will be worse than the first. All right. Amen. 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 Because I'm telling you, when you cast him out, he will go. OK, and, and 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 you know what? These demons, they're so slick they're, they're t They'll tell you, oh, you don't have to say that. Oh, you don't have to say you don't have to do that. And let me tell you, I'm wiser than that. And you'd be wiser than that, too. 
They're saying that because they don't want to go. All right, all right, all right. So, my question to you is, are you ready? Are you ready to cast out this spirit of fear? Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Well, there are a couple things we're going to do if you're ready. First, we're going to invite Jesus into your life. And then we're going to bind that thing and cast it out. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. So, repeat after me. And I like to raise my hands because, see, I don't mind surrendering to the Lord. Amen. Repeat after me. Lord God, forgive me for everything. Forgive me, Lord. Lord Jesus, I believe that you are Father God's son. That you died and was raised from the dead. Lord Jesus, come live in my heart. Live in my life. Make me more like you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now, kings, and you are kings because you have just transferred from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light in your family. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now you have power and authority. You have dad's power working with you now. Okay. So we can cast that demon out. Okay. So the Bible tells us that whatsoever we bind on earth is bound in heaven. And whatsoever we loose on earth is loose in heaven. Hallelujah. I like that, Lord. Hallelujah. So we're going to cast out, we're going to bind and we're going to cast out that spirit of fear. So again, repeat after me. In the name of Jesus, I bind you spirit of fear and I command that you get out of my life right now and forever. And I loose, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, the spirit of power and of love and a sound mind. Jesus, come live in me. Work with me, Father God, in Jesus' name. And it is so. And it is so. And it is so. All right. So you are free. If you did that, if you received Jesus with a sincere heart and you, you said those two prayers, you're free. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Get involved with a word based church. Get around like minded Christian people, people who are living the world. Amen. 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 Read and study your Bible. Like I told you, pray and read that. Read it. Read it. Stay up. Look, when you start reading your Bible and you're really sincere, the phone is going to ring. Somebody going to come to the door. You're going to get interrupted. All kind of things are going to happen. And that's just to confirm to you that you're on the right page. You're doing the right thing. And the adversary, Satan, the devil and his demons don't want you to know because as long as you stay ignorant, they win. So read your Bible. Find a way to read your Bible, study your Bible, talk to daddy God about your Bible. And come back here and visit me. You can find me on Facebook. You can find me on Twitter. And um, I have an excellent book for you. It's on Amazon.com. It's called Messages from God. Uh -oh. A little spider web. Messages from God. Experiencing and Understanding the Supernatural. Read my book. In my book, I talk about a number of beautiful experiences that I've encountered with Father God, with Lord Jesus, with angels and so forth. And it will help you. It will help you. I'm telling you, it will help you. All right. Well, my name is Latina Cates. I love you so very much. And I'll see you next time. If this message has been a blessing to you and you would like a copy of today's broadcast, visit our website 
at www.burningbushworldministries.org or write to us at Burning Bush World Ministries, P.O. Box 611-333, Port Huron, Michigan, 48061. Or you can write us via email at burningbushworldministries at gmail.com. You can find Latina Cates and Burning Bush World Ministries on Facebook. And you can follow Latina Cates on Twitter. Thank you so much for joining us, and we will see you next week.